again, I don't know. My, uh, I turned my camera on as the three buzzes while I was waiting for the door to go down of the garage. I, uh, it buzzed again, single buzz, which means it shut off. I thought, what the heck? But then again, it had three buzzes that turned back on. So maybe this is the new way the camera starts. Start it up, go for a few seconds, and shuts it off and starts back up again. Whatever. But it's uh, Sunday morning. Thought I'd go for a little ride. Now, uh, of course it is, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. So, uh, excuse me. I'll have to do something to tire myself out. Wish it was football season. <laughs> Love watching the games, but they usually put me out. Because I've got to sleep later today. Because I go in at uh, 9.30 tonight to work. Of course, I suppose you're First night, it's probably no big deal to stay up over 24 hours. You know, new place and everything, probably keep you fairly awake. So I'll be getting off at uh, six o'clock in the morning. Then, uh, I got to go in for therapy Monday, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I go in for my therapy. So, and that's not till 7.45. So, you know, to get off at 6 and not till 7.45, that means... That means we're talking almost, you know, well, not almost, it would be an hour and 45 minutes of uh, waiting. And, you know, therapy's in Dover, so that's like five, ten minute away. I suppose if I was energetic, I could take that half hour drive home. So I'd be home at 6.30, wait about 15 minutes, and then, uh, <laughs> or no, wait more than that, wouldn't I? And then turn around and run back. But uh, I'm not that energetic, and uh, when you're there, why turn around? So I figure maybe in the morning I'll just go get breakfast somewhere, or coffee or something, just kill some time until my therapy appointment. We're supposed to be tearing this old building here down sometime. Yep. A lot of times my uh, daughter doesn't go to church since she's had her boy because he usually works third shift and she works sort of like a second shift and it's hard for them to get any sleep. So, a lot of times they don't 
go to church anymore until they can get a get the baby to sleep at the right times or whatever. So I usually go by and see if they're there. If they are, I'll stop and go in with them. But if they ain't there, it's like, uh. Now he used to uh, be the pastor, pastor of the church. And then he had to uh, quit it for health reasons. But you know, it's too bad, but as uh, their church there, they don't, they're not the big whoop de doo church that can pay a pastor a lot of money, so the pastor has to have his own job. But, uh, no, uh, He's working third shift, which is probably the worst shift to have if you got two jobs. Because then he's spending all day long up because he has to go to hospitals to visit people, the, you know, the sick ones and all this and that, or different things. He never had any sleep. By the time he'd get down to his pastoral duties, then he had to go to work. And by then he was pretty dang tired. So, just to uh, keep up, he'd use a lot of uh, energy drinks, which we all know ain't good for you. Uh, he used so much that it actually gave him sugar diabetes and Bert near killed him, yeah, and made him mad. So, he had a choice, work for a living or preach and die, <laughs> I guess. No food, no nothing. <laughs> so he had to hang up the preaching to, to make a living. But, uh, No, they still attend the church and everything, but right now having a newborn baby in the house, it's sort of hard to have any time to sleep, no matter where you're at, because you know, you know how babies are. Mess it up, mess it up. Of course, now I heard that uh, when I was a baby, that was no problem, you know. I understood that at night time you slap and uh, daytime you up. Of course then, uh, I never wore diapers because I uh, understood as a newborn you had to use the potty chair, you know, you know, you didn't, you didn't just make a mess. Yeah, I never had uh, formula or anything like that. I started out, uh, I, guess I was born with a full set of teeth and, uh, hair on my arms and everything. I mean, I was fully developed, fully developed. Uh, I never had to go through that kind of stuff. I was <laughs> yeah, I was more or less hatched from a big egg. Yeah, nice weather. I don't know what the temperature is, probably in the 60s, I'd say. Maybe 70. Have to check it out and see what the thermometer on the wall says here. It's not too bad. Well, it says 80. There's no way that it's 80 degrees already. Of course, it is in direct sunlight, but still, there's no way that it's 80 degrees. Okay, see if we can pull back in here and turn back around like I was to begin with. Uh, 
is I like being ready to head straight out the door when I'm ready to go. Okay, head out of door. Yeah, this way I'm ready to go out the door. What I need to do. Yeah, what I need to do is get the garage cleaned back up for two bikes. Because I hate having my rear end stick out here. Because sometimes when the wife comes in, she comes flying. But, uh... I need to get my Rebel put back together here. I redone the brakes on it because they kind of froze up riding it in the winter time, salt and stuff. So I got it sitting here. Got the, well, actually, I got it all back together. I just got to bleed the thing out and then I'll clean it up. It's filthy dirty. Clean it all up and have it done with that. It'll be ready for next winter. But, uh, no, if I get the tools and stuff all picked up and get it cleaned up out of here, and then I can easily have room to put my bike in here again. I ought to do that soon. Okay, well, we'll see.